in this practical lab we'll take a look to the access list configuration we have two routers two switches and two PCs in our lab in the first step let me say that configure PC1 and PC2 with proper default gateways okay and for the second step we need to configure an extended access list and provide that PC1 can't reach the FTP, Telnet and HTTP ports of PC2 and we should also allow for any other traffic alright let's go So what I need to do is first we need to configure PC1 and PC2 with proper default gateways. As you can see that in the figure PC1's default gateway is here. So I should use this IP address for PC1's gateway and I should use 2.1 as the default gateway of the PC2. Let's go to the packet tracer. Packet tracer time. Oh, you go. I need to close this so you can focus better. Okay. I'm going to the first PC and checking the IP configuration. And my default gateway will be 1.1 and I'm going to the second desktop IP config 2.1 oh 2.6 no no 2.1 all right I accomplished my first step and let's take a look to the second step now. In the second step, I need to configure an extended access list and provide that PC1 can reach the FTP, Telnet and HTTP ports of PC2. So, PC1 is my source, PC2 is my destination. As you can remember from our sessions, extended access lists are written to the closest router to our source. So I'm going to use an I'm going to configure an ACL on router 1 which blocks the traffic for FTP Telnet and HTTP protocols coming from PC1 and destined to PC2. All right, let's go. I'm going into the router one. Enable first, right? Conf T and let's configure our access list. Access list, I'm gonna use a question mark. As you can see that we have different ranges that we can use for standard or extended access list because if I'm gonna use extended access list I'll use this range and this number alright what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deny some traffic right deny
My protocols are working TCP, so I'm going to deny the TCP traffic. Another question mark. So the first thing is I need to write my host address for source address. Okay, I'm defining my source address. I can use the IP address of my PC and with a wildcard of 0000, but instead of this, I can use just host command, which is easier. Okay, TCP host, what is the IP address of my source? 10.41.15, 10.41.15, okay, and another question mark. I need to define my destination address too. My destination IP address is a single host again. 10.41.26 Host 10.41.26 Pretty cool. And I'm gonna match a given port number using the eq equivalent command eq and I have another question mark I can define the port numbers by using these numbers or I can use the names of the protocols as well for simplicity I'm gonna use the typing the port I'm sorry protocol names I'm gonna deny FTP I'm gonna deny Telnet and I'm gonna deny HTTP which means www okay pretty cool the next step is I need the permit any other traffic okay because in my ACL I should write a at least one permit statement please remember that okay access list 100 permit IP any any permit any IP traffic okay I'm permitting anything other than I denied above okay that's cool but mission is not accomplished I created my access list correctly but I need to implement my access list to the related interface from inbound or outbound in here I'm denying the traffic of PC1 so I can implement my ACL to this interface inbound while packets coming from this PC to the this interface fast Ethernet 01 I will block this traffic okay now I need to go to the fast Ethernet 01 Fast01 interface, Fast01 and I'm using IP access group, the number of my ACL and in or out. In this scenario, I'm going to use a inbound. Okay, pretty cool. I can verify my configuration using show access list command and I can take a brief look to what I'm denying and what I'm permitting for and that's it. Okay, we have completed our configuration lab and everything was fine. Thanks for viewing. See you in the next session guys.